everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today i wanted to do a new year's eve glitter out on the town party look and i wanted to use the magnificent metals from stilla because they are perfect perfect glitter to put on your eyes um they just pop so they would be great for a new year's eve look so this is in the shade kitten karma um, this is what I'm wearing right now. I love it. It's perfect. Obsessed with it. Oh, my giveaway in December 30th, which is like three days, two or three days away. So don't forget about that. I will link, link it down in the description box below. And if you guys would like to know how I got this look, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start out with the NYX eyeshadow base and just put that on real quick. Okay, and I'm just going to set that, and the palette that I want to use today um, is the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia, um, and I'm going to take that first shade, Tempura, to set that primer that I just put on. This will definitely help cancel out that orange primer shade that I put on. Okay, so the next shade I wanted to go into, and I'm just going to put this in the crease, is the, okay, I'm pretty sure I'm going to say this wrong, Buon Fresco, this shade right here, and I'm going to use the Sigma E40 blending brush and put that in the crease. Okay, that's a lot dark, a lot darker than what it looks like in the pan. Maybe I just put too much on. So I don't have the perfect lighting, so I really hope that this turns out decent and I don't look like a clown. So y'all know when you don't do your makeup in the correct lighting, you can go outside looking like a clown. So this shade is a purple, light purple shade, but it's definitely coming off darker, especially in person. Um, in the computer, it does not look dark at all. And next, I'm going to take this more precise blending brush from Real Techniques. I think I'm going to go into Love Letter right here. See, that looks so light right there but it looks darker in person. It just doesn't look like the same shade. Okay, we're gonna move on. Whoa, lots of pigmentation there. Okay, so I'm gonna put Love Letter and I'm gonna put this in the corner, kind of bring it up into the crease, but we're gonna keep it low. And I think I'm just gonna tap it in, tap and blend. When I do dark colors like this, I like to tap and then blend. So I do want to take that up just a little bit because I want that color to kind of peek through. Okay, so I'm going to go back into the Sigma E40 blending and take that first color that I took, Juan Fresca, that light purple, and I'm going to kind of blend it out because that color, I feel like it kind of disappeared. So I'm just going to bring it back. And then I'm going to take this, the tip of the brush and barely blend out that color. Just barely touch it to blend it out. So I went to Ulta the other day and I have a different color in this. Um, and this is the Stila Magnificent Metals. Um, I have, I think it's Kitten Karma. It's just silver glitter. This is more of a... I don't know, let me swatch it. It's like a rose gold. Look at that shine. Pink rose gold color. So that's kind of why I wanted to go with the colors that I did on my eyes. Yeah, it looks super gold in the computer on the screen. But it's definitely pinkish. Pinkish with silver glitter, slight gold. Hope that makes sense. Okay, 
I'm just gonna tap it because this is this is like really pigmented. I don't even know what to do. Oh, I think I know what I. Okay, I think I'm just. I think I just. Hold on one second. I'm gonna change something into love letter, and I'm gonna take that shade and put it in the, in the inner corner. And I'm gonna tap it and blend. So it's gonna be kind of like a halo effect. It kind of came to me when I was putting that on. Okay, this is gonna be gorgeous. Yes! This is giving me like Egypt Cleopatra vibes for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna take this, go back in with this still out, and there's so much on this that you just so I know I just took that color into the crease and we will put it we'll take this color in the crease on the other eye where I put the glitter on um, to kind of help the blending but since I don't have glitter I'm going to do it now holy crap so I'm just going to let that dry because it'll be easier to put the color on that love letter color on to help blend. So I'm gonna take, oh, this is a unique brush, precise brush. I'm gonna take that color and kind of, I'm gonna put it right here in the middle and on the inner. And then I'm gonna take what's left over and put it in the crease. Okay, now I'm gonna blend so we don't have like this straight block of glitter on our eyes. I'm gonna blend the edges out. Okay, now I'm gonna go into that purple shade, the very beginning, from the very beginning, Juan Fresco. And kind of blend that dark purple out. So it's not so harsh. I'm gonna put on the Urban Decay Pore Perfecting Primer. Put that in my pore trouble spots. Of course, what it says. <laughs> I don't know why, but I've been like super textury and breaking out. While, while I've been here in Kansas, I feel like I'm just, traveling stresses me out. And I'm gonna take the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. So, I know I keep going back and forth with this stuff. I feel like I'm kind of, I've been like bipolar towards this foundation. But I think I finally figured out a way that I like to put it on my face. That doesn't make me look too cakey. I still think it gives you a cakey look, so if you like the cake, you know, go for it. But what I like to do is I like to take my, um, this is a Morphe sponge and dip it. I pour it on my hand and I dip the sponge into the foundation and then I just put the dots over my face and then blend it out. For some reason, I've just, I've liked it. It looks um, a bit more natural than when I've used a brush and just use my fingers to put the dots on my face. Still not like my absolute favorite, but I like to use it once in a while. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And what I'm gonna do, cause I wanna kinda create a cat eye look with the foundation, I'm going to bring it up right here. I totally forgot to put on a glitter glue. I usually put on a glitter glue when I use the Magnificent Metals. Oh, and I don't know if I said what this shade was. It's in Kitten Karma. Oh, and the silver one is called Diamond Dust. I'm gonna bake my face using the Cover FX and set my the rest of my face also. I'm 
taking this setting powder makes my face look a little bit more flawless okay and I'm just gonna quickly do my brows real quick off camera okay so I decided just to put my lashes on real quick so what I'm using I just got this at Ulta it's the essence extreme lasting eye pencil and it's waterproof it says that it has 16 hour wear it's in black um, I've used it for my water my waterline on my upper lash line and I love it it is so so good I don't even have to I hardly have to touch it to get the black on there I'm really curious to see if it's going to um, run onto the lower water line I'm curious to see how long it's going to last I'm really excited it was only like $2.99 so it was super inexpensive and it was um and it looks like really nice quality so far I am really impressed with essence makeup so far I just love their brand okay so now that we've finished our eyes let's go on to our face and I'm gonna take the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer to bronze up my face. I don't like to do a lot. I just like to add a little bit of depth. Put blush on. I'm gonna use the blush kit from Anastasia. And I think I'm going to take, um, I think I'm gonna take this shade right here. I think it's Breeze. Yeah. So pretty. And then I will blend it out with a dual fiber brush. I know it's broken, it's from Real Techniques. But it blends um, stuff out so well. So I'm gonna take the glow kit from Anastasia and Sun Dipped. You can tell today's an Anastasia Beverly Hills day today. I'm gonna take summer. And put that on. It's so pretty. You barely have to touch and it gets on. Put on the tip of my nose. Keep it well. Go on to my lower lash line. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the same colors I did on my upper part. I'm going to take Juan Fresca. This shade right here. Put it on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take Love Letter with the same Real Techniques brush. Okay, so I think I wanna smoke it out today and I'm gonna take the Essence Black Eyeliner and put it along the lash line, the lower lash line. I don't, I don't want to bring it all the way across. I just want to keep it halfway about. <laughs> we need to put mascara on the lower lashes. I always forget that part. Okay, and I'm going to take the shade um, Ooh La La in the matte lipstick from Julep. It's just a pretty nude color that goes with everything. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I love this look and I am loving this shade in the Magnificent Metals. I highly recommend um, all of them, all of the colors in the Magnificent Metal collection. They are just perfection. They do not fall off. They don't, they're just perfect. They stay put. Um, I didn't even put glitter glue on because I completely forgot and they're staying on my eyes. So it, they're perfect. Hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and love you all and I will see you later. Bye.